Welcome back to JVRC. And as you see on the table, we have the the two diffs there. I've uh, put the gold pieces on this one, so that's all as complete as can be, and looking very good with it. So that's our two complete diffs. Steering linkage I haven't put on yet because not much point with no with it not being on the chassis. So I should get those straps out of the way. So I need those. And next we have this piece. You're wondering what it is. Well, we had to get those onto there. And the easiest way to do that with a complete set of arms and shocks and everything we might need, the easiest way to do it from scratch is to obviously Go the full lift kit. So you may have seen these on other videos somewhere else. And if you've got a, a fully functioning one, yes, it's a lot of money to spend just to give you a bit of lift. But if you're like I am and you've nothing there at all, why not? Just go for it. So a little bit of money, yeah, but you've got to get it all the stuff that's in that anyway. So why not just get it all in one package and upgrade what you've already got? And as we, as this is going to be a full upgraded car anyway, you might as well go with that. A lot of people say that these only give you a lift and it creates a lot of stability problems and all that. It Yeah, it may make it look better and not really perform 100% better. But a lift is a lift. It's an off-road vehicle. So... We can't adjust the suspension, so we might as well have it as high as we can get it to start with. So I think it's a it's a good way to go. It introduces a colour though. I've gone with the blue. So we've introduced some blue into it. Um, I've already uh, opened this up. So you may have seen videos on how to fit these. The first thing I've got to do is change those over for longer ones. So we're going to have to dig into that. Um, gear don't know if I need that yet gotta wait until we've worked out what wheels I'm putting on it but if you get bigger wheels you need that um, and then you've got a couple of choices of half shafts depending on what um, length you need what wheelbase and also that de determines which bars you go for depending on what wheelbase we've got um, I have had a rough look at what the wheelbase for the body I'm going to get. And um, I've got to double check that before I start putting those arms on and get the right arms for the right vehicle. I've already dug into this and I've completed the shocks. You just basically have to take the top off, fill them with oil. And I'm sure most of you know how to fill shocks with oil and then just assemble them into the shocks. There is this, which is basically it, it lifts the the front um, servo, steering servo, to get it out of the way. I don't know whether I'm going to need this yet because I've got a completely different setup anyway. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. So we'll leave that over there for a bit. Get your four, four coil, which I'm pretty much empty on that because it gives you just about enough. Um, and these, I think these are something to do with the front the battery tray and things on the front as well. But I think this I've already done. I think this you, this piece here, where I've lifted it here, is, is this. So don't need them. And then you get instructions and, and a sort of introduction to the wheels you might want. Um, but yeah, may well go down that route. Might get the bigger wheels for it as well, but they do look a bit goofy with the massive wheels. But we'll soon have a look when we've got more stuff together. But yeah, they give you instructions. Best to look through that just to familiarize yourself with what length of things you need. Um, but there is a, a video from Traxxas, I think it is the actual Traxxas video that tells you how to put it all together. So I'm pretty um, up on all how to put it together. So I think we're just going to crack into this. And I'll, uh, first thing I'm going to do is put these on, 
change these out don't really need to show you that I've already shown you how to put those in and out so it just means I have to strip this down a bit to get those in again it's a bit annoying but got to be done got to make them right and then we'll uh, then I'll start laying out where the arms are and I might just put the arms on and then show you them the arms that are on and, the, and maybe the shocks as well and then it will be a matter of just slamming it slamming it all up in place and job done and then I'll work out what's going on with the, the front stuff to what's in the way so let's crack on and get this started right and here we have all the arms and shocks onto the diffs and uh, it wasn't too difficult uh, the rear I did these brackets that I've put back on the, the metal piece that I got they um, obviously because they've powder coated this metal there's a lot of stuff in the thread so it did I, I do need to fix there's one of them see that one is a little bit loose there because the threads are a little bit too long and there's not quite enough room to put it up into there so I do need to find a better bolt for those <clears throat> but uh, the other one seems to have gone up just I just had enough room to get it in and um, but apart from that they all went on pretty easy it would exactly like putting on your standard kit I'd imagine I haven't actually got one so <laughs> I'd imagine it's the same as this, as a genuine one you just using longer things on there and all you have to do is set the right bars to the right car and as it turns out the one I need is a long wheelbase version so all I had to do is change a couple of these ends for longer ends on the rear diff and then it worked so basically all these rear ones have got longer that you might be able to see it there this little bit here this neck is a lot little bit longer than the other one so they're all changed over and all sorted the wires are in they're all sorted and changed over so they're a good couple of inches longer to cope with the travel and the next job is to stick them underneath and get them bolted into place obviously the shocks go on to are nice new shock hammers and everything else is a standard fit to what you get on a normal Traxxas so I will get those in and we will finally see a full setup okay and here it is all complete with suspension so it's a little slow on the uh, return on the suspension but i'm sure i can adjust that and as you can see all the linkages are in so you've got four in the back four blue ones and the springs up into the top and then your, your two and the one underneath for those so that's all done and we have suspension just needs a servo to connect the steering and obviously electrics wheels and a and a case body and we're pretty much there but wait I know you're all screaming at me but what about the wheels can't we just see it on wheels we want to see it actually rolling so hang on a second bang and there we go rolling chassis there we are um, yes did have to sacrifice the wheels off the Jeep for now they're not the cleanest they're not the newest we've seen better days probably needs a new set of foams in there because the wheels are starting to collapse a bit but it's a rolling chassis it's got wheels and i think it's starting to really look the part especially if you consider the parts we've put into this and it's only a first step that's just the rolling chassis next comes a very nice piece in here which I have already got and you'll see that on the next one and then hopefully some more very good parts may well come to the point where I might have to sacrifice a few more parts from the Jeep just to get this one going but hopefully not 
and hopefully we can get the parts to go on this and this alone but for now we have a rolling chassis and it's looking very very good so join us next time and we'll get this in here done drive shafts all of that but for now i think that will do it so we'll see you later bye bye for now and remember one piece at a time and you can do this as well bye bye